do is open the applicator first because most people are very nervous when they're being measured. Not everybody is like, whoop, whoop, here I am. So I want to do everything I can to get as much out of the way as possible. So I open up the applicator. Then I let them know I'm going to measure you three places at, above, and below the waist. And I am going to make marks on you so that when I remeasure you, I know exactly where I came from. So I'm going to, I'm going to physically take her and turn her to the side. The reason I turn her to this side, first of all, I'm right-handed so I can write easily and quickly. The second thing is the girls are in the front and I'm working in the back. So my face is on this side of her and I'm not arguing with the girls. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead for me and lift your top. And we're going to go ahead and take those three measurements. Now you can um, take it, you can wrap this into her bra or however you want to hold it up. Hers is staying up very easily. Take the tape measure and I'm going to measure, I'm going to turn you around just so they can see. I'm going to base it on her belly button. Then I'm just going to cup a couple of fingers above and a couple of fingers below. The bottom measurement is fairly simple because it's going to be the part that sticks out the furthest. So that makes it fairly simple on that one. It's just the top because there's not a lot of room that we're working with with the applicator. So go ahead and turn back around to the side for me. And we're going to take that first measurement just a couple inches above the belly button. I'm holding it tight and I'm going to make my marks. And the reason that you make them on the back is wherever the, bot, the, the applicator goes, that gel would obliterate those marks. So you want to go ahead and make the marks on the back of the body. If you would for me, go ahead and lower your arms. Okay, now um, relax your shoulders for me. And when somebody relaxes their shoulders, typically, I'm going to pick up about another half inch. I could care less what the measurement is. I just want consistency both times. Because I don't know how they're going to hold their breath or not hold their breath. So asking them to lower their shoulders accomplishes that for me. Okay. So I've got my first measurement, and I put it down. And I do... Um, whatever the measurement is, like if it's a half, I'll go... 20.50 makes it a lot easier to do the math because yeah. I can't do fractions. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can, God bless your little heart. Oh, no way. <laughs> then just coming straight over the belly button in her case. Again, I'm making my two marks on her back. And go ahead and relax those shoulders for me. Okay. And last measurement. Now, if they have higher pants, you would want to have them undo them because typically um, it, when you have slacks on, we wear our pants tight enough that it creates a roll. So your pants are low enough that I can take my measurement, my second measurement, and it's all good. So I'm going to take my third measurement here, make my marks. And the reason I make the marks long is to make sure my trajectory is the same. Relax the shoulders. Yeah. And what you want to do is measure to the quarter, okay. not to the sixteenth or the eighth or yeah. the quarter. Because <laughs> we can Simple. all yeah, we can all pretty much do that math. Now, go ahead and face me. Actually, why don't you turn that way? She can get the back of your, you can see the marks on her back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have them too. <laughs> Come on back, turn around, face me. Now I'm going to unfold this. You can see all the goodies are all preloaded right on there. Open it to the halfway spot and smushy it up. You're not activating anything. All you're doing is, is um, distributing the product and it makes it easier to open. Unfold the applicator and look, there's all the goodies. So how simple is this to do at home? Because when you tell people how simple is this to do at home, then they're getting the idea that, oh, we could do this at home. This is an in-home service. Okay, now if you do not like the person, 
don't tell them that it's going to be cold. <laughs> but if you like them, tell them. Dallas is going to be cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what I'm doing is I want to get all the air bubble out. My objective is to get all those herbs penetrating into the skin. So I'm taking all those air bubbles out. Okay, making sure that's done. And I'm going to ask you just to go ahead and pop that down inside. No, I don't want to see you. <laughs> okay, and smooth that out. Now, at home, what you could do is you could use a bodysuit, you can use a Spanx, you can use anything that's going to hold that and keep that yeah. good contact that we've established with oh. the body. Yeah. Okay? But here, what we're going to do to hold that in place and keep the contact is use plastic wrap. So I'm going to ask you to put your hand right here on the side. Oops, there you go. And I'm also going to ask you to turn that way. Okay, keep going. Turn Dallas, turn. And you're going to go around twice. Now see, I'm pulling against her. Keep going. Keep coming. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask her to stop. See the angle of my saran wrap? That's because I'm coming around the bottom. I want the connectivity right here. I don't care about it up here. See how loose that is? Mm -hmm. But how tight that is. This will help keep it from rolling. Okay? And come on around. Whoops, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, come on around. Keep coming. Now when I get to the back, now I'm going to start coming up. Because I want to catch the top, the top of that and hold that in place as well. And just right to there. Okay. Now. If your plastic wrap rolls, it's not a major deal, because you're going to be out there moving around, of course, mm -hmm. but it's not that big of a deal. But at home, if you're using a Spanx or something like that, obviously it's not going to roll. You want that tight against the skin just because you want to keep that contact. If it's bunched up like this, obviously it's not going to do you any good. Okay. Two things I'm going to ask of you. One is to drink water. I stimulated the toxins in the fat store. Your job is to actually flush them out of the body. Okay, that's number one. Second thing is periodically maintain that contact. I'm just going to ask you to push. You don't want to massage this way. 